Guys, we're on the second half of the show. As usual, nakapasok si Illinois. Sabi ko na nga ba? So the first eight girls who were called were District of Columbia, New Mexico, Susana Perez, California, Connecticut, Nebraska. Texas! 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 Ay, bonita! Ah! Favorite talaga siya. Tinawag sa second girl. Second girl. Second to the last girl. Grabe. Oh my god, she's very proud of her her Filipino heritage, guys. Super. I've never seen a feel I'm so proud of her roots. Wow, way to go, Arbony. I really hope she does well, extremely well in the competition later on. Washington. Washington or Hawaii. Washington or Hawaii. Guys, we're into competition now. Uh, oh gosh, they're all wear. I love the color choice for their swimsuit segment here. It's baby pink, and they're wearing two pieces here. Hi, oh my gosh! Super, super, I love this. New Hampshire! Okay, New Hampshire is starting out quite Lackluster, hindi ko bet yung ikot niya. Ang tamlay ng lakad niya, it's weak. Um, I don't know, as the first girl to come out on stage, I want power, energy from her. And I'm not feeling it from her. She's just daying to walk. Oh, I love that. Who, who's this? I thought it's in Kansas. Oh, what a gorgeous blonde girl. Like that, tumitingin siya sa steps niya while walking. That's very good. Oh, I love that stance. Ang statues niya, pero walang energy. Oh, Texas! Oh, Arbony, please smile. Oh, there you go. That hair clip. Please smile more, Arbony. Oh my God. Oh yes. Love it. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. Bisa should meeting in the stairs, which is good. She's a pro on walking the stairs. Go, Arbony. Smile. Don't be nervous. Yeah, this is a better performance than her prelims one. And I noticed most of the girls are not really hot to trot here on this segment of the competition. Para lang sila naglalakad. I don't know why. Unlike in their in, with their Miss Universe sisters, na talagang palaban lahat. Ito, they're just walking. I'm not feeling anything from them. Siguro it's an instruction from their runway coach here in Miss USA. But wow, Tennessee has a very beautiful face. Wow. Then North Carolina is up next. Okay. Yeah, and go girl. Para ka mukha niya si Ashley Chad, who's a Hollywood actress with this beauty. Oh, I love that she's making eye contact with the judges. Yeah, this is the first girl that I've seen na masaya lumakad on stage. And I'm, I'm expecting her to do well to get through the next round. Nebraska is up next. Oh, I love the style, the hair styling. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys. Natural effortless lang, right? I love her. I love her. Minnesota is up next. Okay. I love the short hair, too. It's making her stand up. Ang ganda. She looks so chic. Wow. And as for her walk, yeah, it's a bit, it's a, it's simple. She didn't make it so complicated. I'm really, you know, hindi sila no frills walk lang talaga sila, which is really, really good, right? So let's see who's next. New Mexico! Oh my gosh, tatak Ian. Guys, sila niyo naman yung lakad ni Ian Lawrence, so, grabe, Ian Lawrence trained her, wow. She's really. Alam niyo may character, may lende. And I'm so happy that I know she got Ian Lawrence to train for this aspect of the competition. Cha ang ganda ng styling, straight hair looks so good on you. 
that's a sign of fairness, wow. Oh, Illinois, I love. Wow, look at that twirl at the start and look at that arresting face. Grabe, ang ganda, gorgeous. I really love her. I think she's one of the front runners of the competition. And she's killing it tonight. Ang ganda, oh. With that hand pose on the waist to, to make her shoulders look broad. Wow, I really, really love it. Ay, grabe. Parang Illinois is really a strong contender for this competition. So, let's see if I am right so far and the standout for me. Of course, I'm biased. New Mexico, Texas, Illinois, and then Nebraska. And then there's this one gorgeous girl na kanina ina na, na gandang-ganda ako sa lakad niya dahil sobrang happy lang niya and natural on stage. And Texas just lay this round. So New Hampshire is the first girl to come out of this segment of the competition. She's wearing a, a sequins sheer gown, gold gown. She looks, I don't know, for some reason I'm not really liking her styling. Ang ganda ng gown but the, but the lugay hair is not, is making her presentation a bit flat. Oh, sino to? Who's very careful with the stairs? Another sea queen gown from Kansas. Um, I don't know. It's a mesh gown, pero it's the face is saving this performance. Siguro nakita ko narin gan yung ganong design. Oh, Texas. Oh, she's wearing. A gold gown. This is so much better from her prelims gown. Arbony, please smile. She's taking her time to walk, which is good. And she's smiling. And I love that she's wearing her hair down. I love her styling. Ang ganda. Ang ganda. It's so elegant. She's so elegant. She looks so beautiful in that gold dress. And another... Why is everyone wearing beaded gowns. Parang, are they all sponsored? Parang, napaka, napaka weird na they're all coming out in seeking gowns one after the other. I still have yet to see a gown that is wowing me. What's this? Oh, North Carolina. This is the gown. She wore this gown again. She Ang ganda, and I like that she stick to her to her choice of wearing this gown. This is by far the color, the shape of the gown beautifully complements her body. Ang ganda, by far the best gown I've seen so far. So let's see if someone can beat can beat her in this round. Nebraska is up next. Ooh. She's wearing a black gown. Ooh. Why not they have a mesh gown? Um, I'm not really liking the color of the gown, even the design. For some reason, I don't know. It's lackluster for me. But I love her face though. Na, ang lakas lang makatanda ng gown. I would have wanted her to switch to a youthful styling. Black, alam mo, it's really hard to pull off a black collar on stage. Yeah. And Minnesota is up next in another gold gown. I love the design of the gown. Oh my god, Susanna, please, please switch your. Was this the gown that she wore during the prelims? It's a see-through gown. Another gold gown. Oh my gosh. Lahat sila na go gold. I want her to stand out. But she's making it up for her sexy walk. I just love her styling. Go! Alam mo, veterana talaga tong babaeng to eh. Pag hindi to nanalo this, ano, this later on tonight, I want her to join. A local pageant here, Pinipini, Pilipinas, or Miss Universe. Oh, look at who is this girl! 
Oh my god, she's standing out because of the color of her gown. Pink. Wow, look guys. So beautiful. The color just jumps out of her skin tone. Ang ganda. Ohio is... I still up in my top type. Ang flowy, ang natural, ang smooth. Every transition was perfect. And Ber Vermont, here's next. Okay. She's standing out because of the color. It's my first time to see a girl wearing white in this segment of the competition. Alam mo, ang ganda lang talaga pag white. Walang mga, walang mga frills, walang masyadong design. Sim Alam mo, yun ang mga gusto ko. Simple white gown. Tapos, effortless lang lumakat sa stage. Dadaanin lang tayo sa mukha. And I think that's what Vermont did it to us. Ah, uh, this time. Who's next? In another see-through gown. Silver. Oh, a silver cutout gown from Illinois. Wow. By far, the most beautiful sea queen gown I've seen. That's it, a puro ano, puro sparkly. I love that she's serving face here, yeah. I want her to make it to top 5. Next is Connecticut in another white gown as well. Oh, she looks like a Gresham goddess in this gown. But I'm, I'm quite kind of... Um, ambivalent on her hairstyling. It kind of ages her. I, I was just wondering if she could have just put her hair down instead. Ano kaya magiging effect? Ang lakas makamatrona ng <laughs> styling ng hair niya. That's just, but that's just my opinion. So there you go, guys. Who are my standouts here in this round? Um, of course, biased ako. Both Arbony and New Mexico War Gold Sparkly, sparkly gold gowns. Hindi ko alam magkataon lang ba yun. Um, I wish New Mexico switched to a better gown for her to stand out even more. Pero ang nagsistand out talaga sa akin in this round talaga si Ohio. Because she lang, she's, I think she's the only woman of color who made it to top 12. And then, who's the, gr who's the girl in orange? That girl also stood out for me. And then, um, God, I'm so bad with, ano na, with my memory. And the one when Illinois in her silver cutout dress. Saka di ko na rin kay New Mexico, saka kay ano kasi first part of the, the first set of girls who walk down in their evening gowns parang bland for me kasi nakita ko na yung mga ganung designs, mesh, beaded, sheer. Yeah. I wish sana may na color commentary sa kanila. Like Lucy Hera. But anyway, so yon. Let's Guys, top five and up next. Let's see if my choices. Guys, I love this top five segment because they twist it up. You know, one in round table instead of the usual Q and A for more for a more relaxing and free flowing conversation. And they're talking about fashion, skinny jeans. Oh my god! Oh my god! I think Arbon is shown in this round because as a fashion designer, this is right up her alley. Plates. It's a lot. So I'm curious to know what's your go to when you need some me time, some self care. I'm really big on that. For me, as a corporate attorney, it gets very stressful because you're working very long hours. The biggest thing for me to prioritize is not only my sleep, but also a workout routine, but more importantly, hanging out with my friends and family. They're what gives me energy. The brass says shining. It's like a holding her so own. The director of a medical aesthetic spa, what I'm doing, I'm definitely She's pulling making one it of my personable. employees into their rooms and I'm having them give me a facial. <laughs> Illinois is um, making it personable. And it's also very important to show yourself a little grace in those moments, so I'm definitely taking some me time. <laughs> she said, we're getting these employee benefits, okay? <laughs> I'm working, I'm getting the perks. I have yet to hear Ohio speak. I time as a chemical engineer, so I definitely schedule in my me time, and I always say you would never cancel on someone else, so don't cancel on yourself. And for me, that's just like a good face mask and watching Housewives. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, North Carolina. Ohio. Why believe you can't pour from an empty cup? So you have to make sure that you're keeping yourself well aligned. And for me, that's getting outside and enjoying the outdoors. Oh, all right. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch.
switch gears, I am going to say a topic, and then one by one, you just very quickly tell me, ooh, I love this tea, I am into it. Alam mo, gusto ko talaga itong ganitong roundtable discussion. Okay, to the second round of the Q&A portion. So let's see you, Arbun, you can kill this round. Looking so, so first, let's tonight, first of all, Nebraska is the first one to be asked. Um, okay. You're in the early stages of your professional life. In 2022, why do some women still face equity and as well as a lot of the research that I've done into women in higher professions, a lot of the potential and full talent of females continues to be neglected and fails to be recognized. A lot of the reason being is because of a subconscious neglect for women. We're still regarding women as less than. And as a corporate attorney, I'm going to continue to pave the way for the avenue for specifically female attorneys after me. Thank you. Great answer. Great answer. She was able to, in Nebraska was able to to incorporate her being a corporate authority in in her question about how why female females in America are probably the world are still underrepresented. Yun nga lang, medyo, for me, she did nothing wrong. Ang galing ng pagkasalita niya, talagang lawyer na lawyer, abogado na abogado ng pagsasalit niya, straightforward talagang she's not buckling. Pero I cannot feel any warmth. Alam mo yun, parang nagigets ko siya, pero parang Straight in the face lawyer, wala akong maramdamang warmth, wala akong maramdamang appeal. Sinagot lang niya, parang stone face na sinagot lang niya. Parang, I wish she could have answered with more charisma. But that's just me. Girl, Let's now go so to the second fun. contestant. Illinois! Hi there. You look lovely tonight. Thank You've done you a great so job so far. Your question is, voters your age have become quite vocal about age limits for elected officials. Are placing age limits, young or old, on any profession ethical? I absolutely, absolutely do not think that that is ethical. I think that anyone, no matter your age, no matter your race, no matter your gender, I'm a champion of inclusivity and diversity, and I think anyone and everybody should have the opportunity to go after and pursue all of their wildest dreams, and so I absolutely do not believe that that is ethical. All right. Oh, uh, who's this? Illinois was asked about removing the age limit across all professions, and... She answered well, kaya na naramdaman ko again, parang generic statement, she didn't personalize it, she didn't give an example, it's probably related on her field or profession for us to get to know her better, and she kind of sounded nervous. Yun yung naramdaman ko, parang kasi her voice was kind of trailing, trailing off, I w how I wish she could have personalized her answer more. So, our Boni is up next and she was change. asked about climate you change. You asked to create a task force to help address Case this issue. to ask. What's your first priority? Oh my god. What she got a judge who doesn't speak fluent English. Yes. So she's trying to repeat yes, her well, I think question. There's eight ways we can implement addressing climate change within our careers or our lifestyle. It's as easy as adding a recycle bin to your house. Everybody can do that. Or being creative in ways you can also implement it in your job. I am a fashion designer. I actually made the outfit I'm wearing and I upcycle pieces and recycle she different was able to clothing it. to be wow. more sustainable in my industry because I feel it's like my duty. So I think that's something we can all look for ways in our certain industries or in our homes to be sustainable as well. Uh, in Kristen. She is so authentic. She is just so relatable. For a while, I thought kinakabahan ako because her she got a judge who doesn't speak fluent English. So kinabahan ako baka hindi niya marinig yung sagot. Buti na lang ay tanong, buti pinaulit sa kanya, pin, inulit niya and she nailed it. Um wala siyang ending statement pero what you can get from her answer is that she's very authentic, she's very relatable. She was able to incorporate her being a fashion designer to to solve climate change in her own way. I think that's very very, very clever. Napaisip ka agad siya. Napaisip ka agad siya. And I love the fact that, alam mo yun, Arbuni doesn't have to give generic answers, eh, generic statements or motherhood statements to come up to give a more impactful answer. She just answered her question in a non pageant patty way. Sobrang refreshing. Uh, Let's now go to the next question. Thank you. 
we heard your thoughts on social media influenced fashion trends earlier. Should content creators and influencers be required by law to disclose whether they're being paid or actually use the products and services they provide? I'm not sure they should be required by law to provide that information. I think if you're following an influencer, you are you chose to follow them and you believe that the things that they're posting are things that they truly love and hopefully they content creators out credible. there are sharing things that they do truly use and would buy with their own hard-earned money and those are the influencers that I choose to follow. I love her answer. Beautiful. North Carolina did not sound so preachy with that with her answer na kailangan taksa yung mga katulad kong influencers or youtuber but you know you follow her at your own risk you follow her organically genuinely not because you follow her out of some uh, for a different reason gusto ko yung sagot niya because it's non preachy um sabi niya okay you follow them out of your own volition with your own heart in Patro uh, you allow them to patronize their products using their hard-earned money. And I love that. And she's very um, sympathetic, diba? To I think she's aware of how content creators usually, you know, thrive in this kind of industry. And um, while she did not really directly answer her question, I, I feel she gave a very confident answer that was quite sympathetic to us bloggers or content creators so Beautiful. for me Thank she appeared you. so congenial and she was smiling i love her so, so my question is That's representation not. in entertainment is under a microscope lately from colorblind or non-traditional casting in a live action movies to musicians playing historical instruments why is there so much pushback on representation why is there so much pushback on representation? I think as a country, we have to take the time to understand that we are the United States of America. In order for us to be united, we have to stand with one another. And yes, we are pushing back, but in order to become united, we have to change the, the trajectory of the different platforms that we've seen. And that's getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Thank you, Ohio. It, um, her answer was good, but I felt beaten. <laughs> Alam mo yon, it didn't nail as hard as I would have wanted her to be. Gets nyo. Um, yeah, maybe ten. Parang I wish she could have added. She was getting in there ne. Um, she was laying the groundwork for her ending statement until and uh, parang she stopped short of saying unless you get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Parang some sort of like that. So I don't know. Um, so for me, out of the top five, probably. The best answer I'm biased, um, Arboni from Texas, and um, see North Carolina who spoke about content create, who appeared to be sympathetic to con content creators. And gusto ko rin yung sagot ni yung first one abo yung abogado, eh lang parang um, straight up in your face na no holds barred yung sagot niya na abogado ng abogado na I didn't feel any relatability or what parang ganun lang. So let's see if I'm right, Arboni. Arboni should be up there in the top three later. About being uncomfortable. About comfortable about being about comfortable on being uncomfortable. Texas! Texas! My god, alam mo guys, sobra kakaiba. They're not wearing their respective gowns uh, for this round anymore. I thought they'll, um, they'll go back to their evening gowns for this round. Pero wow, talagang they're pageantry reimagined ka talaga, di ba? Wow. So, si, ano naman, si Nebraska also killed her question. Wow, ang ganda talaga ng mukha din. Oh my God, if she wins, wow, ang saya nila. I think they'll be the first state in history na nanalo ng Miss Teen USA and Miss USA at the very same year. So, pero, hindi sige na, ibigay na nila kay Arboni. Alam mo, sana naman, mangorona na sila nung... Alam mo yun, overall package candidates sa Miss USA at hindi na yung parang some woman of color na scholarly. Diba? So, sana ibigay na nila. Please, please, Miss USA, Crystal Stewart, please ibigay mo na kung gusto mong bumandera at mas lalo umingay ang pangalan yung USA sa Miss Universe this coming January. Sana, alam mo, huwag na go yung ulit ni Crystal Stewart na kukuranaan niya yung Miss USA tonight. Tapos kinabukasan, hindi pa tapos sa Israel sa host country in in a jetty 
her booty na lang this year, the eventual winner will have a three-month preparation leading up to the Miss Universe pageant this coming January in New Orleans. So ito na guys, kinakabahan ako! Oh my god! Here they are! Oh, they finally switched to their evening gowns! Oh, I thought they would crown their girls in their cocktail outfits. Ito na! Ito na guys! Final, final announcement na! I'm really rooting for Texas! So, inibigay na nila sana kay Texas! Inibigay na nila sana kay Texas! Ooh, okay, wow. Okay, wow. Ana a Josa out of Texas way. Woo! Please call North Carolina. Para oh, oh my god. Akala ko siya ang lakas na sagot niya, ang ganda ng gown niya, pero top 2 lang siya. Eh top 4 lang siya. Oh my god. Organization out of our body know that this year. Oh, alam mo kasi ako talaga hindi na ako gumagawa ng prediction sa lagas sa Miss USA kasi napakan predictable nila since the Shana's time. Palagi sila kumakorona ng woman of color na scholarly year after year. But this time they switched it up. Feeling ko pa burito siya ni Crystal Stewart. The reason why she made it all the way there till the end. I'm just so 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 happy, guys. You wish natin. Alam mo na manalo si. Because she's already 27 years old, and this might be her last year of eligibility, or I'm not sure, like next year. Pero she finally won. Arboni finally won on her second attempt. And what I love about Arboni is that she's so proud of her roots, of her Filipino roots. Tila mo hindi niya kina hihiya yon. Talagang ginamit niya to her advantage, apart from having a stellar fashion background as a designer. My God, she's really. My God, put na talaga ako na New Orleans. Talaga niya tapok na. USA is definitely heading to its 8th crown in for Miss Universe this year. Talagang gigil sila at Crystal for the first time ever. Love na kita kasi nangorona ka talaga ng overall package contestant. Wala akong masabi talagang wala. Lock in na talaga sa top 5 ko talaga si, si Arboni. Congratulations Arboni to everyone in Miss Texas USA organization. Especially to Miss Anna Cantu. Thank you, thank you so much for allowing me to interview her. Arboni last month. It was really such a blast getting to know her on a deeper level and I'm so 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 grateful that you know she finally won her dream crown. You know because alam niyo naman guys I've been hyping this girl since January this year when I was making my wish list for MUP and hindi nga nang and although it was half baked because she didn't go to MUP she finally you know she still chose her heart's desire, which is to compete in her home state again. So I'm just so, so happy. Grabe, guys. Ang lakas ng USA talaga this year. I'm just so happy. Sobra. Grabe, hindi ko akalain. Ibibigay talaga nila. Ibibigay talaga nila kay Arboni this year. Diba, woman of color with a with a great background, Asian background. So talagang she really takes in all the boxes of what a Miss USA is all about. Overall package contestant, candid, a beautiful candidate, a solid has a solid advocacy, at talaga namang wow, kumu kudari when when the mat when the occasion calls for it. All right, guys, I'm just so happy. Grab it. Celeste and now Arboni are two are the two Filipinas who will be competing neck neck and neck for the upcoming Miss Universe this coming January. Quick sight!